Welcome! In this example, I want to show you how to find the exponential regression curve using our TI-83 or 84 calculator. So for this example, I have a whole bunch of data that we basically need to get into the calculator and then start doing this exponential regression. So let's go ahead and grab that calculator and see how this process works. All right. So first we need to get all of this data into the calculator. To do that, go ahead and press your stat button. Now you'll see number one, edit, is selected. Go ahead and press enter to edit your list. We want to put all of our X data into list one and all of our Y data into list two. When you get to the bottom of a column like that, go ahead and use your right arrow over to jump to the next column. Alright, once you get all of this data entered into the calculator, it's time to start getting a, a nice good look as to what the data actually looks like. So I'm going to go into my stat plot, second stat plot, and you'll see that number one is selected, it says plot one, and right now it's off. Go ahead and hit press enter and we can make a few changes. I can turn this on by selecting on, so press enter, and then I can change the type of graph that it displays. Right now the first one is set to scatter plot, which is exactly where I want it. It's going to pull the X and Y data from my list 1 and list 2 in the calculator, so we'll leave that the same, and it's going to mark all of our points with a little box. Great. Now let's go to window. You can see my X data goes anywhere between 0 and 20. So I'm going to enter in something like maybe between negative 5 and let's say 50 just to get a good range of x values. For the y values, this says between 21 and 44, so let's go between 0 and 100. All right, now that you've set your window, we can take a look at the graph of the data. There we are. So there are all of these data points. Now to make that regression line, we're going to go back to our home screen and basically see that process in action. So go ahead and press second quit and this is our home screen. Now press your stat button, press the right arrow bo button where it says calc and go all the way down until you find the one that says exponential regression. This on my calculator is the tenth option. Okay, Press enter and now it shows up on the screen. Now we want to feed it list 1 and list 2 so that I can do the exponential regression using this data. In blue you'll find these above your, your keys on 1 and 2, so I'll press second 1 for list 1, comma, second 2 for list 2, another comma, and then I'm going to have the calculator store this equation uh, into the calculator once it's done building it. So I'm going to go to variables, I'm going to use my right arrow to the Y variables. I'm going to select the first one that says function. I'm going to store this in Y1. So since it's already selected, I'll press enter one last time. And then I have this on my screen. So this is telling the calculator to do the exponential regression using list 1 and list 2. And when it's done building it, to go ahead and store it into Y1. All right, let's press enter and see what it does. All right, there we go. So it gives us the template for an exponential regression, a times b to the power of x, and it gives us the coefficients of a and b. Now, if you press your y equals button, you can see that it has also stored that equation in there. Now, the important part about doing that is if we go to our graph, we can actually see that exponential regression line and how it lines up with the rest of our data. All right, not too bad. Now, an advantage to having the line already stored in there is we can start making some uh, other uh, problems and be able to solve them just fine. For example, suppose we wanted to make a prediction about what the value of 30 would produce 
as a y value. Well, with this model, I can make that prediction. And the way I can do that is I'd go into my calc feature. So second, calc. And my first one says value, so I'll press enter. And then I could feed it this prediction of 30. And the calculator would give me the corresponding y value from the model. Neat. And I can make predictions about other x values as well. Now, another neat thing that we can do is you could use this to predict, say, what a certain x value would be. So suppose we wanted to know when the model eventually reached 75. Well, a neat way you can do this is to go into your y equals, enter in 75 as a new equation, and then look at it on the graph screen. So this horizontal line here represents when y will equal 75. Now we'll go into second and calc and select our intersection feature. So second, calc. Option number five says intersect. So I'm going to press enter. Now our little blinking cursor shows up on one of the curves. That's okay. Just press enter and then it jumps to the second curve. Press enter one more time. You want to make sure that it ends up on two different curves on those first two questions. For the third one when it says guess, go ahead and move that blinking cursor as close to where they cross as you can. And press enter. So this is giving me a prediction that x is equal to about 3.3, no, 3, 33.17. There we go. All right, so you can see that building the exponential regression isn't that bad and that you can actually answer a few extra questions uh, as long as you have it. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.